rainbow popsicles, eh? Driving on the tracks, so much more. Come along with old things outdoors. Buddy? Come down to see them today. In about an hour's time, Louise is going to go swimming with the dolphins. So hopefully, we get some good footage of that. Just checking out the stingrays at the moment. That is our giant shovel nose ray. So, this particular species. <laughs> Having a good time, Lukey? Oh, damn it. Look at the big stingrays down there, Tom. Can you see them? It's alright, I've got you. I won't let you fall. Look, there's a shark. There's a tiger shark. Oh, look at that big shark there. Look at this. He's cruising right over to us. Look right here, Tom, down there. There he is. Oh, look, you can see the big shark, Tom. Oh, look at him. Big sea, sea turtle. Oh, he's beautiful, isn't he? He's tripping. He's coming back. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Just smile and wave, boys. Look, here comes Donatello. Do you want to give him a high five, Tom? Give him a high five. Come on, here we go. High five. Good man, yeah. All right, Donnie. You're my favourite, Donatello. Man, my man. <laughs> Lou's just here to do a dolphin swim. She's pretty excited. This is like a major bucket list item for her, so she's going to be like pinging afterwards. It's going to be fun to see. I'm excited for her too. What do you reckon? Oh, oh! See the dolphins waiting for her. It's like, come on, come play with me. Here they come, here he comes. Oh, he's talking. Do you hear him talking? You watch, here he comes. He's coming to say hello. Oh, he's like a big puppy dog, isn't he? Was your dolphin swim with Belle? Um, it was really, really good. Um, yeah. Short, but it was great. I didn't see the smile come off your face the whole time. <laughs> yeah. 
Explain, explain to us though, you, um, is it a, it's a bit of a bucket list item for you, isn't it, to, yep. to swim with it's the dolphins? it's always been a bucket list thing. And I guess I thought, I guess I thought I'd never be able to do it. Um, I always thought my weight was a bit of a factor too, I don't, I've never told you this. Um, weight was a bit of a factor in not being able to do it, so it's awesome that I've finally, you know, conquered it and been able to do it. I had the balls to do it. I was a bit nervous actually before we hopped in the water. Yeah. And then as soon as I got in, like it's just cool. Why, why, were, you, why were you nervous though? I don't know, I guess the kind of... Oh, the unknown. The unknown and yeah, it's Is the animal going to accept me yeah. and that sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, they did say, they, they said don't move around too much, just like just... Because they've got to trust you. Yeah, because yeah, if you move around too much they won't want to come near you, so yeah. you just have to be still. Yeah. Um, yeah, so his name was Cliff and he was 162 kilos Cliff. and he's like a teenager. Cliff the dolphin. Yeah, Cliffy. Cliffy the, dol the dolphin. But he, he was a rescue dolphin actually. Well, I and saw he had, had missing some chunks out of his flipper and stuff. Yeah, so him and the other one, both of them, they're yeah. both rescue ones. They got caught entangled in fishnet, so out in the wild. Okay. And they, um, they brought the dolphin back in and... Um, yeah, he's been seen ever since. So he had some scars on his belly and stuff too, and a chunk taken out of his fin because that was where the um. Is it a boat motor or something? Oh, tangle, tangle, tangle in his tang tang okay. Yeah. So. Like a very magical experience. I'm glad you were able to do it. Yeah, thank you for making it possible. <laughs> Look, we're going we're going across the IndyCar grid, Tom. See, yeah. here's all the starting lineup. Here's the start line, and go. They rescued him and his friend and they brought him back to SeaWorld to re um, let him recover. Well, unfortunately for our last night in Queensland tonight, we're going to start the slow, long trek home back to cold Victoria tomorrow. So, a bit bittersweet for us all, but I think we seriously need it. We've been on the road for a month now. Everyone's getting a bit tired and ratty, so time to just send it. Stopping at the big banana. Here we go and have a look. Perfect timing for lunch too. Yeah, we're going to see the big banana. Who likes banana? Would you like to go up and touch it? No. You don't want to touch it. What is it? down to fighter world today while we're heading past always wanted to visit so gonna go check out some fighter aircraft Remember when we went to um, Hutto's house last time and we went out to the raft base up there and we saw one of these? Yeah, come down in the back and you have a look at it. What is this? It's a bomb. 
a cluster cluster munition. See, there's lot, Tommy. This is a there's lots of little bombs inside this big bomb. Do you know what? Do you know what this one is here? That's an F A eighteen Hornet. These ones just retired not long ago. See up the big tailpipes, and see this bit here. They could make fuel come out there and then the tailpipes would ignite it and there'd be this massive big long flame that would come out of the back of the aeroplane. They call it dump and burn. What do you think this thing is here? Uh, oh, that's a nuclear tank. No, that's actually a fuel tank. Okay. Yes, you can. Come over here. Touch it. What do you reckon? Are you touching a fighter jet? I can stand down do, you, do you know what this thing here is? What's that thing? It's called the arrestor hook. Do you know what that does? Well, it allows them to land on an aircraft carrier and that hook comes down and grabs a big cable and stops them. Do you know what this one is, Tommy? That's called a mirage, that one. Oh, it's to stop people bonking their heads on the fuel tank. Uh, no, that's what, no. No. Tommy, these are the planes that Daddy built. Did you like that one? Say goodbye to Sean the Sheep. The big sheep. Where, where are we going today? Home! Oh, Home! Yay! yay. Chief driver all holiday. Over and out. Peace.